21 years ago, Serbia and its small breakaway province of Kosovo were starting to heal the wounds from a brutal and bloody independence war. An estimated 12,000 people died in the conflict, one of several wars in the aftermath of the breakup of the former Yugoslavia. Serbia still doesn't recognize an independent Kosovo, and the latest round of talks to resolve the relationship between the former rivals is being led by the EU. As Jorgen Samso reports for us from Pristina. After a 20-month stalemate, Kosovo and Serbia are yet again back at the negotiating table. A significant step forward, says this lawyer, political expert and former advisor to the Kosovo presidency. But for Kosovo, there is really only one thing on the agenda. There is only one open question, because that's, that's the only open question for Kosovo, and that is the recognition of Kosovo by Serbia. Serbia still doesn't recognize the independence of its former province. The dialogue between Pristina and Belgrade was recently reignited with the help of the U.S. Now the EU is back in the driving seat, reassuming its lead role in the dialogue. The meeting in Brussels and the restart of the EU-facilitated dialogue is important for citizens here. But Kosovo has also been hit by a recent spike in coronavirus infections. On top of that, political turmoil and a recent change of government. I expect that the dialogue uh, will continue uh, better as it did until now. And hopefully things will get better for the citizens of Kosovo because we are dealing with a much worse situation uh, in this uh, in these times with uh, coronavirus. Regardless of which government it is, the only way is to solve the situation. We look forward to resolving it once and for all. And may we live happily and in peace like other people in the world. The meeting in Brussels between Pristina and Belgrade is only the beginning on a long road ahead. The process is going back to a more mainstream uh, uh, you know, course uh, led by European Union. I guess the expectations of the parties are, uh, are rather low. They just want to get the process started and that's going to be, uh, you know, like praise the success on all sides. It will be a difficult meeting for both sides, made even more difficult by the recent indictment of Kosovo's president for war crimes. Jorgen Samso in Pristina for Euronews.